Welcome to another training division tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about our new lab coats we're using in lieu of our isolation gowns. Firefighter Funk is going to show us the procedures on how to put the gowns on and also how to doff the gowns and clean the gowns in between laundering by Cintas. So he's going to put the gown on after he has his mask and his two pairs of gloves on. The lab coat's very simple, goes on like any other coat. It's got elastic cuffs right at the wristlets and snaps. Our plan is to wear these coats on every call. This gives the same amount or more protection than our current isolation gowns. So before we go into a call, we'll have our mask, our glasses, and our two pairs of gloves on. We'll snap the coat up and we'll go on with our call. Take care of the public. When we've completed the call and we need to doff our isolation gown, the first thing we're gonna do is open a plastic garbage bag and then we'll take the coat off just like we normally would, but we're gonna take it off inside out. Justin will show us exactly how to do this. So he's gonna unbutton the coat. He's gonna take it off inside out. Since his pairs of gloves are already dirty, he's going to use his first pair of gloves, throw it in the, cup, in the garbage bag, seal the garbage bag up, and then doff his gloves. Once we get back to the station with our isolation gown in the bag, inside your decon room, you're going to find a bucket that is labeled lab coat mixture. Justin, if you could show us the bucket. It's clearly labeled PPE decon bucket makes one ounce cleaner per gallon. Inside the bucket, you'll also find the solution, which is total solutions, which is also labeled one ounce per gallon, an MSDS and a little mixer that is clearly marked with the four ounces. So we'll get back to the station, we'll mix up the solution at one ounce per gallon, so approximately four ounces of the cleaner in the bucket. We'll fill the bucket up and then we'll put the coat in. So Justin's going to mix four ounces of solution, put it in the bucket, and then he's going to mix this with hot water, which each station should have a hot water spigot accessible in their decon room. Now that we've got the solution mixed up and Justin has his clean PPE on when he got back to the station, he's going to take the lab coat out of the bag and he's going to submerse it in the bucket of solution. We're going to leave this for 10 minutes. We're going to let it soak. The solution is rated to kill all viruses and bacteria, including the coronavirus. So if we have more than one coat, we can do multiple soaks, but this bucket should fit three or four coats. We're gonna let it soak for 10 minutes. Now that we've waited our 10 minutes for the solution, Justin's gonna take the lab coat, throw it right in the extractor. We're gonna run the extractor on the normal cycle. We're going to let it run through and then we're going to take the solution and we're going to dump it down the drain. This solution can be used for multiple coats if we have four or five coats that all need to soak, but after you start the wash, we're going to dump out the solution and start fresh. The gown has been deconned with the solution and run through the extractor. We can simply take them out of the extractor and we'll hang them in our dryer and turn the dryer on just like we normally would with our bunker gear. Once the coats are dry, you can simply put them back on your apparatus and reuse them. Our goal here is to keep you safe and keep you healthy. And as always, your safety is our priority.